Other news now, some serious news from Brian Health today. They say they are really at the breaking point, full of patients in their hospitals. Jael Pembrick tells us how health officials are maneuvering during this crisis. Jael? From transferring patients to advising you to get your COVID and flu shots, Brian Health officials say they are at full capacity. At Brian, we are at a physical capacity limit. Um, there's other places where uh, you, there might be a little bit of physical capacity, but there aren't aren't staff to you know fully staff those facilities, and that's that's you know sporadic all over the state. So um, we are maxed out as a healthcare system. Brian Health reports they've reached their limit with 552 patients. In total, 71 cases are COVID patients, and they have been transferring some people to rural hospitals to maintain space for COVID patients. Dr. Jim Nora worries as flu season starts, numbers could rise to where some patients may not receive care. The next uh, concern is uh, do we have to go into uh, what, what's termed uh, crisis capacity? Um, we have to make decisions that nobody wants to make about uh, triaging uh, health care resources. Dr. Norris says Ryan Health has been full for about four weeks. It's just they're at the point where there's no more room or the staff to take care of any more patients. Although they believe some stabilization is occurring, officials still push for you to get your COVID and flu vaccines to control the spread of viruses. And now there's a new antibody treatment being offered for some high-risk COVID-positive cases. In fact, Brian has set up a special area to give these treatments. We would love to offer monoclonal antibodies to um, anybody who has had uh, illness that has onset within the last 10 days and has significant has risk factors for more serious illness. Risk factors include being overweight, pregnant, and or 18 and up with risk factors. Dr. Nora highly recommends the antibody treatment for pregnant women with COVID-19 who have not been vaccinated. This experimental drug has been approved for emergency use by the FDA. Brian Health officials hope this treatment, along with more people getting vaccinated, will lower the amount of patients in the hospitals. All right, J.L. Pembrick, thank you very much. And here's a quick look at the numbers from Brian today. 71 COVID patients, 10 are vaccinated. Now there are 16 people in the ICU with COVID and 14 are on ventilators. Out of those 30, all of them are unvaccinated. Omaha hospitals tonight are reporting very similar numbers.